you do with me I can't explain it I can't understand What keeps me coming back Coming back Coming back to you Okay, so This is probably going to be my last review of the year So I want to let y'all know where I got this nice Subtle but big mop top from and you guys know some of my favorite hair from Aliexpress has been from Sexy formula hair And this hair is actually no different than my other hair. Um, I'm in love I don't know what it is about their hair, but it's always really buttery soft Their wefts are always well constructed And I always really like the hair I mean, this is my second review, so don't, don't, don't get too crazy about it. It ain't like I did 85 yet. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's still pretty fresh and new, but look how nice this looks. This looks, this looks like the hair that I just reviewed. Probably like, well, y'all probably got it recently, but it's been a minute. This looks very similar to the hair, but it's definitely very different because my experience has been um, a bit different as well. So I'll get to the specs and then I'll get to the um, the, the bundles that I have in. Okay, so this is the damage that was done on this. It's been a minute, so it's been about a month. About a month, or probably going on a month since I've had this hair. And this is the hair that I have left. So you see, it kind of still looks like it did when I first got it, but it's definitely uh, a little bit bigger than it was when I first got it. I co-washed this hair one time and I, uh, I got a lot of questions about what do I use to co-wash my hair when it's curly and I use the organics coconut milk um, shampoo and conditioner because uh, it just makes the hair very soft and it helps it bounce back and become very big and fluffy and you know uniformed and pretty like this and again I always uh, construct my wigs and then I dry them when they're curly or sometimes wavy I dry them um, upside down so it helps all the curls bounce back like this and then they stay fluffy and big like this. Okay, so I'm currently rocking two 18s, two 16s, and the 14 inch closure. I could be missing a bundle, but I believe it's only four. Um, they came like this, they came layered like this, so I didn't do anything to them. I just pulled them apart. And when they curled last night, when they dried last night, when they curled last night, when they dried last night after I washed them, um, I just went ahead and pulled them apart. Now I am getting some, a little bit of frizz, but that's only because I'm pulling it and if I would have left it alone, it would have stayed how it was when I first, when I first let it dry. My closure roots right here are kind of on the straight side. So I'm not crazy about the closure. I don't hate the closure, but I definitely am not totally in love with it, but it definitely works. I took my wand and I went ahead and wanded some of the top so that it could match a little bit more from the root so it wouldn't look so straight. Because that's the only thing I hate about uh, curly hair is that when you sometimes get a closure, the closure, the roots be laid super straight and then it just gets this curly thing going on and it just, it just doesn't work. But it definitely gives me a nice full vibe it, you know it definitely looks is it looks like how many bundles it is and this is much shorter than what i've um had before but i definitely like it i think it's proportionate to my face i think it's just enough hair and i think that the length is just enough for me um sometimes you do want to have a little bit of some longer hair depending on how the dramatics are with you where you're going with it but for me um, this was enough and I think for a lot of you guys this actually would be enough 18 um, When it's curly like this will make it look like a 16 and then so forth and so on So you you kind of get what I'm saying right now Like it's gonna look shorter than it is because hair is usually or now usually people um, is measured based off how How long it is straight not how long it is curly. So this would be like a a 16 this would not be a 18. 18 would be right here. So if you stretch it, of course it's gonna be longer. Um, I've gotten, um, I would say out of 100%, I've got like 20% shedding. 
you know, when I do run my fingers through it, when it's wet, I do get a nice amount of, um, a nice amount of shedding. Um, but again, you can calm this down after you wear it a little bit. It should stop. Uh, mine's did. So it just depends. And I, I deal with this a lot with curly hair. It will shed, uh, when you initially put it in and then after you having it in for so long, the shedding usually subsides and it stops. I'll give Sexy Formula a nice B plus with this because I do love the hair. I do love how it looks. I do, I do like the flow. Um, it was just a few things that I didn't like. And one was the way my closure looked because it was a little too straight at the root. The amount of frizz, which you can come down with like some frizzies. Uh, you can come that down, but that tends to be one of the things. But it does look natural. So I guess you gotta, you know, the frizzes would make your hair big. So you want some of that. Um, and then the other thing that I really didn't like was the smell. The smell, it did de definitely had um, a relaxer-esque smell to it. And it wasn't very pungent like some of my hair has been. It actually was very light, but I could still smell it, you know? So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like when my hair smells like absolutely positively nothing. So, hence why I co-washed it uh, before because I wanted to definitely get that smell out. And it, again, it wasn't loud. I just don't want to be walking around smelling a, like a hint or a dab of relaxer. <laughs> it's not really my thing. But other than that, I'm just a nice unit. Um, it's very cute. It's very big. It's very now, you know. So it looks like I had some long extensions and I just went ahead and chopped them out. Um, looked like my hair probably would have been like this long. But I was like, okay, I don't want it that long. I'm going to go ahead and chop it. And that's what it looked like I did. So yeah, for my people who are not into super duper long curly hair and you want something that looks good for work, and um, yeah, this would be perfect. I, I think it's popping. But yeah, if you guys are interested, hit the below bar. Thank y'all for watching. And yeah, let me know. And I also just want to say, I tried this with a middle part because I know you guys are like, when are you going to do like some curly hair with a middle part? And it was like very Kelly Rowland-esque slash Tiana Taylor-esque. But the problem was the closure was so straight. And even when I wanted it, it still didn't look like I wanted it to look. So ain't nothing like the good old flip over method. Method. It just looks very natural. It lays like it's supposed to. But I still am going to give y'all that nice straight middle part with some nice volume and a lot of hair. Just not with this unit. So... Um, again, hit me back. Let me know how you guys like this. And I will catch y'all in my next one. Peace. And if I don't get to say it beforehand.